Hi, this is Mikey D, and this is the Steam Client Beta Weekly Update for October 9th. Uh, several things, and if you follow the link in the description, uh, there's several updates here. Uh, initial update of the store for Big Picture UI Refresh, which you'll see here. Um, this Welcome to Steam down here I thought was very peculiar. At first I thought that, okay, maybe that's you know not supposed to be here. It kind of looks out of place, and on my TV it actually looked a little cut off, so... Um, I'm assuming this here, uh, especially when you get an initial launch of Big Picture Mode with a Steam Machine, that um, this down here will be front, and, more maybe more front and center. And if you click on it with the A button or Enter, or we click here, it's got these several sections here that explain what Big Picture is. Um, goes through how you can find your games, your friends, uh, what the overlay is which peculiar it shows you um, a nice stacked images of, of what it would look like and, and a section for the seam control in case you uh, are going to pick one of those up and I thought that was pretty cool there and I would expect that if you're booting up Steam OS or Steam Machine for the very first time that this may become the very first thing you see instead of that uh, I wouldn't say an afterthought below here but um, there's a couple other things that I noticed uh, that are still left behind, maybe from a prior update that I did not see have been changed yet. Now, if we go into the controller settings, actually, they just did change it. So there was a section in here, um, and I believe if I do connect my controller up here, let's see. And I, there we go. So I connected one of my controllers up. Now before, oh, now it's down at the bottom. Before there used to be a button that said support. And we'll see what this does now. Oh, very, very nice. So this will show you, now this is designed specifically for, I would assume, the Steam controller versus the X input 360 controller that I have. A lot of cool information here, I'm assuming that that would help Valve when they go ahead and have to deal with any technical issues for the Steam Controller. So if we do back here. Now, I'm hopeful and I am very, very, um, I don't know if begging that the customizable buttons for the regular controllers comes back. I'm, I'm very hopeful that that will be. So it seems like the back button does not work here. We'll try this, there we go. So for the detected controller, I do have a wired Xbox 360 controller here. And if we hit identify, I don't know what that really does, but it may, in case the controller didn't automatically pull up, I'm not quite sure. And I'm not gonna hit add Steam controller because in the past it kind of flipped out on me. Uh, some of the other updates we have here is they fixed a footer bar to hide in case there was no gamepad input for some time fixed free to play game showing a purchase button fixed the guides panel always sliding when bringing up the in-game overlay and for in-home streaming improved streaming performance on wireless networks um, there's nothing else that i saw from the last um, update here most of the updates recently have been done to push most of the ui into the center which i don't know if that has anything to do for tablets or if there's going to be something like that in the future, or if it's just meant to help with uh, weird display sizings and weird uh, orientations, though I believe Steam is still designed for 16 by 9 uh, TV resolutions. Nothing new here, so even though I, I want to start doing these videos, and even though I, and a lot of people know that there's those announcement pages out there, there's little things that sneak in, and I do always click through uh, settings pages, see if anything was new, um, like the broadcasting, which we all know doesn't work on, on Linux, unfortunately, at least at the moment. And it's weird that the back button, oh, I guess it did on there, but on the controller page it did not. So I always go through here and see, uh, is there anything new? Is there anything that... Valve is maybe preparing to uh, to do. So the one thing I'm glad that they fixed the add library shortcuts so that they're not obscured by weird 
um, icons on the bottom. They used to be really cut off, and at least they're a little bit more tolerable to look at. I don't believe there's anything else here. So um, one of the recent updates, I believe, for the October 7th update, and if I skip back just one, is they added these um, different numerical icons in case you have more than four. So we do have a SteamOS update here, and this is, I don't know if you can see on the recording, but it's running in, in a VMware virtual machine. Now some of these are a little bit off center. So one of the things that I've seen very, very in the last, oh my gosh, month of updates is a lot of the updates are buggy. Uh, and I'm only assuming that this is due to Valve really trying to push to get Steam OS, Steam Machines very, very ready, and there's bound to be some some bugs that are coming through. And if it goes through with their vision to update the beta every Monday and the standard brewmaster once a month, I'm hoping this will stay stabilize out. But there's been several, several real bugs. But Linux users are extremely happy. Our HDMI audio for NVIDIA users all but pretty much is fixed. I haven't heard anybody recently that's had weird restart with no audio. So the library actually, uh, if we go down and filter, which it here. Now before the, at the last update, this was actually fixed. If we filter by SteamOS games, there used to be, it used to be where games 175 there on the left, the filtered text would go over top of the actual numerical count. So they fixed a lot of that stuff. Uh, a lot of the little touch-ups and everything are coming together. So I'm hopeful that by the, not maybe by the the preview release, which I hope most the the annoying bugs are fixed, but the November release, they I really am hopeful that a lot of these are fixed. And also there's been a lot of community you know changes and everything if you haven't noticed recently but I wanted to start doing these videos uh, maybe every actually every every update actually and just show what did I see that was different is there anything um, and just maybe call it steam beta cl client update something similar uh, this is Mikey D and hopefully I'll be doing uh, other videos now that I actually have uh, a proper mic here so uh, thanks for watching